This is how you create an expandable hose using a cloner. First, let's create a circle, make it smaller, put it in the X, Z plane, and put it as a child of the cloner. Create a cloner, make it a child of the cloner. We want it to be um, cloned in the linear mode, so we'll keep that, keep the linear mode, and increase the, uh, the count. Press H to frame everything. Now add the, uh, with the cloner selected, add the formula effector, delete the formula and put MOD, open bracket, ID, semicolon, 2, close bracket. This will target every other clone. Now go to the parameter tab, uncheck position. We want to affect the scale only, so decrease the scale to minus 3, 7 or something like that, 3, 6 and put the cloner as a child of the loft object. This will sweep the cloner, like so. Select the loft object, press MB to see the subdivisions. We want to be smooth on the U, but not on the V, so decrease the subdivisions on the V. As you can see, there's uh, shading errors. That's because of the uh, Fong tag, so decrease the angle on the Fong tag to something reasonable like 38 and go back. You can also clone the uh, hose onto another spline. Uh, let's create a, a helix, make it zero on the height and decrease the end radius to zero as well and press T to scale the whole helix. Now select the cloner change the mode to object we want to clone onto the helix so we'll put the helix in the object tab you'll see that the circles are facing the right wrong direction in the transform tab of the cloner change the rb to 90 and increase the amount or the count of the uh, of the circles like so you can also if you go down you can also change the end where where does the hose start and where does it end like so and press nc to see the final result and this is how you create a hose using a expandable hose using a cloner